good, Bit Rushers? My name's Kyler, and this is Bit Rush Crypto. As I promised in previous videos, I'm going to be giving you guys my updated altcoin investing strategy going into the end of the bull run here, at the end of the summer into early fall. As always, not financial advice, but I'm kind of uh, planning here going into this, looking to take some profit. So that's just a little bit of a preview of what we have to come. Um, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about my strategy, make sure you stick around. But before we get into that, please do smash the thumbs up on the video. It does help get the video out to other people looking for similar content. Speaking of that, make sure you guys sub to the channel. Click the bell to be notified as soon as my videos drop. And 99 cents will get you the members only, which gets you early access to most of my videos. Let's get into that altcoin strategy. So this altcoin strategy is going to be an updated strategy for the BitRush fund. I have a little bit different strategy and things I'm doing personally. However, it's very similar to what I'm doing here. So if you are interested, you still can pick up some Rush token on Uniswap. You open up token.bit-rush.com and you guys can find the button to Uniswap. For today's video I made a nice slide presentation so hopefully you enjoy if so leave me a comment and let me know so altcoin investing strategy an updated cryptocurrency investing strategy so if you guys knew my previous strategy basically it was going to just be um, dollar cost average out of some of the ones I had dollar cost average into I was waiting for some of them kind of just really through the end of this bull run to get out of uh, so here's what the strategy is going into this bull run First, we need to kind of define our approach. Uh, what is short-term investment? What is a long-term investment? And so I've done that here. A long-term investment for me is going to be six months or more. A short-term investment is going to be anything that's under that six-month mark. And a couple examples here. We have um, dollar cost average plus our top assets like Bitcoin. We're going to want to hold these for a while. We're not going to be selling them off um, unless they go super high. Maybe we'll take a little bit of profit. But for the most part, we're continuing to hold and build into these positions. Uh, staking, so E2, um, DOT, ADA, maybe some of these other ones that you're leaving and you're continuing to earn more coins. You see the value in some coins in the future and you don't necessarily care about the short-term dollar amount. You're actually looking at the number of coins and you're looking to accumulate as many coins as possible. Um, so that would be in that category that we're going to hold those for six months or more. We have moon bags. So these are our 20x plus potentials that we're maybe just holding a small amount. We'll get into this later, but as we take profit, I generally tend to keep a moon bag, which is maybe just like a hundred or a thousand of the tokens, depending on how many I've bought initially, and just leave them in my wallet and kind of forget about them and hope they 10, 20, 30x, 100x, whatever. And we're not really looking to sell them. Again, these are just long term. We're keeping them in there in case they just go um, bananas. So coming into the short term strategy, we have leverage trades. These are obviously for the most part either um, just quick scalp trades or swing trades that are definitely going to be under six months. We have altcoins. These are buying any kind of altcoins. And obviously I'm not talking about the top ones here that we're staking. I'm talking about other altcoins, um, lower to mid cap altcoins. And then we get into the micro caps, which are the super tiny um, capital coins that uh, we sometimes invest in. So those ones, again, are kind of going to fit under this altcoin strategy. But really, they're going to be separate. They have their own investing strategy. And the one we're going to be talking about today is our altcoins. So these are the ones that maybe aren't in our top uh, five coins, you know, not necessarily the top five that we're keeping, but a bunch of other um, top cap coins, mid cap coins, maybe even some low cap altcoins here, but don't necessarily fit the micro cap um, definition and that trading style. So here it is. One, we have a new goal. It is our new goal is to accumulate as much USD value as possible in stable coins. Okay, so we're going to be looking to build into stables. Um, how we're going to do that here? So accumulate stables until a definitive top in the market, which is estimated between September and you know basically the New Year, 2022. 
Sometime within that time, we're going to look to take profits into USDT, USDC, and BUSD. So if you guys don't know, I've already been taking a lot of profit. However, what I'm doing generally is when I take profits on one coin, I invest them into another coin. So when we have a huge market crash like this and I haven't taken profit into USD, you know, you get held up a little bit um, and now you, you've lost a lot of value. So just transitioning there from um, taking profits into, say, Ethereum or into whatever pair I'm trading on. Uh, instead taking those profits actually into a stable so that's a big change right there covering initial investments early so here's another thing is when you know I a lot of times I'll put in let's say like five hundred dollars and the coin will three four X and instead of just taking out that initial 500 and putting it back into USD, I'll just let it ride because why not? We're letting it all go up, right? So from now on, I'm going to not do that anymore. I'm going to um, now take out my initial investment as soon as possible. Um, as soon as we two or three X on these, a lot of them, um, you know, at that point, if that happens, we're definitely taking out the initial investment and probably taking profits at key levels. So, you know, if they get that high, we're going to be taking profits. We'll get into this a little bit more. I'll kind of set some key levels, but um, taking profits at key levels regardless of the market. So even if I think, uh, you know, coin's going to like three, four X from here, taking profits when i'm you know up at a certain percentage you have so really guys this just goes into not letting greed take hold even if we think that a coin might go up another two three x from here seeing that we're already at a certain level of profit maybe we've already doubled our money taking a certain amount of profit on that and being happy with that profit as a positive gain a positive roi investment again guys just not um, letting emotion take over and just looking at the numbers and saying this is a good point for me to cash out some of my investment and then the final thing is uh, only invest in solid projects to minimize potential loss so while we had this most recent correction, a lot of the top key projects didn't see as bad of a correction as some of the other altcoins that maybe don't have a working project are still in the developmental stage or kind of lower cap coins that don't have um, the liquidity and the trading pairs on the big uh, DEXs and exchanges. Those coins tend to be the ones that lose the most money. So if you're keeping that in mind with your altcoin investing and we're doing a separate strategy for the micro cap, so we're only investing in solid projects here um, that will minimize the potential loss that we're going to see with our investments moving forward. Speaking of that, the next major update that I'm making here with the fund and how I'm managing the altcoins is I'm only going to hold five coins or less. The reason I'm doing this is to better monitor prices and the charts. Um, you know, it's a lot easier for me to go in and check five coins daily or every other day than it is to check on 10, 20, 30 of them and keep up to date and have a strategy on those that I can manage effectively. And speaking of not just the prices, also monitoring, uh, you know, the news and timelines and what, you know, things are being developed and released. And so just having a small basket of coins, five or less, I think is going to be key to just staying up with prices, charts, news, all of that, guys. And then the final thing here is we're always looking for an opportunity to cash out and take profits. As I mentioned, it's much easier and cheaper also to cash out of five coins if needed or one of those five coins. It is to cash out of 30 coins, 20 coins. If you have 20 coins and you need to cash out and they're all on Ethereum network, you're going to eat up a lot of your funds just in cashing those out because they're going to be a lot smaller and you're still going to have to pay the network fee. Whereas a couple larger baskets, um, larger coins, you know, baskets of larger coins would be easier to just cash out with only five transactions and you're going to lose less of your profit, hopefully because they are bigger bags at that point. Next, we have key profit levels. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be looking to cash out at key profit levels regardless. So 50% gains, guys. If we've gone up 50%, let's say you put in $100, you now have $150. You've put in $1,000, you now have $1,500. Uh, you guys get the point. You've put in $10,000, you now have $15,000. 15,000, right? So we've earned a good amount. This is a key level to cash out. 
the crypto markets, uh, 50% is kind of very small. Sometimes you have these gains in one day. Sometimes you could do 100% gains in one day on some of these altcoins, guys, which is amazing because then we could do it again, right? Um, if we see at that point that, you know, we think it's another great investment after it takes another dip, we can buy back in because we've cashed out and we have those coins set aside. So I think um, 50 percent is a great cash out even if it's only a couple days um, if it's gone up 50 percent i'm going to look to cash out a percentage and i'm not going to go into the percentages that i would cash out guys because this is not investment advice you guys do your own research do your own math figure out how much of each coin you would want to cash out so i definitely think 50 percent is a key level to take a little bit of profits next and we've gone up a hundred percent uh, we're now in positive ROI essentially. Uh, I think this is another point where we can cash out and take a little bit of profit. Again, guys, in the crypto uh, kind of investment market here, this could happen within one day, within two or three days. Sometimes you get in a coin and it just doubles overnight, but you think, oh man, well, if it doubled overnight, it could go 10x from here. But you don't have to cash everything out. You can cash out your initial investment. You can cash out a percentage of your investment. Again, not going to um, get into advice on that. But just looking at it from a mathematical standpoint, you could see at this point when you've doubled your money, basically it's kind of smart to take something off the table. So at 150%, we're going to be taking our final profits on most of these coins. And the reason is this isn't my personal investment um, strategy. The long-term coins that we're holding are different strategy than this, guys. The dollar cost average, the staking. And for this strategy, we're just looking to cash out and make as much USD as possible. If we cash out um, and leave a little bit for a moon bag for our other strategy, or we even just take our profit and look for a market correction and possibly get back into the same coin, that's fine. But what I'm looking to do is just maximize my gains to stay in USD and to make as much USD value as possible moving forward with my altcoin investment. So that's where it is. 50%, 100%, 150%. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I know already a lot of you guys are going to say that's way too low. Um, it should be like 150, 200, and 500 or something you know, larger because a lot of these coins do make crazy gains. But that's what it is for right now, guys. So I may adjust again as we go forward. For right now, these are the levels I'm looking at. So uh, I just want to kind of end here with a quote, invest, invest thy treasure with the greatest caution that it not be lost. Unserious rates of return are deceitful sirens that sing but to lure the unweary upon the rocks of loss and remorse. And that's from The Richest Man of Babylon, one of my favorite kind of investing books. Uh, I have it on audiobook on my channel. If you guys want, go down there. I have the full audiobook. It's like three or four uh, videos. You guys can check that one out if you'd like. It is absolutely free. And just looking at this quote, you know, it's a really kind of hits home to what this whole strategy is now moving more towards is that I'm investing my uh, treasure with a much greater caution that it not be lost. And the crazy rates of return that I've been looking at and trying to get, as I mentioned, I'm no longer going to try to do that. I'm just kind of scalping out these coins, 150% gains, 200%, 300%. We get easy, quick. We're going to take our gains at those levels. So I'm no longer looking to get these crazy rates and just going to continue to grind it out, guys. That's kind of always been my strategy. And I did switch it up a little bit, you know, coming into crypto because the gains are so crazy. But looking back, you know, you can get back into the same coins. We can make more moves into the same project. Just because we've cashed out 100% doesn't mean we can't wait for another little correction in that coin and get back in with the smaller amount and make even more going forward. Uh, keep in mind, you know, you can always adjust your strategy if what you're doing isn't working. And if what you're doing is working, continue to do it and move forward. But this is my updated strategy strategy here moving into the end of the bull run as i mentioned looking to probably cash out most of my stuff into usd for altcoins if you guys did enjoy this presentation make sure you guys give me a thumbs up uh, share it with a friend or family member throw it on social media all that good stuff sub to the channel bell to be notified and as always guys is not financial advice do your own research before investing hope you guys enjoyed the content happy crypto let's get that going